Well, we had the old way of doing things, <clears throat> and then we have the new. The old was the tent, and uh, we got a lot of rain last night. That's where we kept our daughter's toys and our chairs. Well, as you can see, they're airing out right now because they got soaked. We went through a torrential downpour. And to say the least, we stayed dry. This is the Camp Inn 560 Ultra. And uh, we did give her a good test. We, uh, it was a nice storm last night. And uh, to say the least, we didn't have one leak. And we slept very comfortably. Three people, my wife and my daughter and myself. Absolutely beautiful. Um, the uh, stove worked great. Um, it was a little bit windy, but it didn't affect the uh, power of uh, cooking or anything like that. <clears throat> uh, the sink works good. Um, I, like I said, they have an upgraded sink now, so but this one worked very sufficient. Uh, cleans our dishes. Fantastic. Oh, you can see down here. This is what I, I just threw a bunch of stuff in there. Got my water there. Um, my frying pans don't really jiggle around, so I just put the water supply there. And then we got a. Uh, oh, look at them sweet rolls. I nailed the sweet rolls today. Got some wheat bread. Got my paper towels right there, which are really convenient because the paper towels just grab it and it whoosh, rip it right off. And. Uh, Fantastic. I'm about to charge my phone. I'm running on DC power because we do not have a power hookup here. We've been running off the battery <clears throat> all night and have not had an issue at all. Um, so DC power runs the TV, the fan. I can charge up my uh, <clears throat> iPhone uh, through the DC outlets here. When you have shore power, of course these things would work, and you can run coffee machines, microwaves, whatever you want. Um, so, right now my daughter and wife are inside. I served them one-eyed sailors today. Uh, <clears throat> guy I work for taught me how to make them real easy. It's a bread, and uh, you cut a hole in the bread, and you put the, the uh, egg on top, and it Looks like a one-eyed sailor, I guess. I don't know. It tastes delicious. And I don't know if you can see them. I know you can see me. Yeah. They're in there watching TV. We could peek inside. Okay. We're not going to show my family because I don't like doing that. But you can see that they're watching TV. And, uh, look at that. Yeah. Alright, that's enough of that. I don't want to show the what they're watching either. Um, fantastic. I'm a little flag right here. Any negatives? Okay, we've got to have some kind of negatives, right? Negatives. Uh, the windows do condensate. Okay, so be prepared to have a little towel in the morning to wipe down all the windows. Because we had all the windows up last night, so it did have a lot of condensation on the windows. No dripping on the bed or anything like that, but enough where I wanted to wipe it off. Oh, uh, what's another thing? Uh, you can't stand up in it? Uh, I kind of knew that when I bought that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, toes wonderfully. Didn't even know it was back there, and I'm using my Jeep to do that. I uh, hooked up a seven-way hitch on my Jeep. Right here, you can see how I did that. It's a nice hitch. You know, I got my... It's all bracketed nice in there. Ran really nice. I think I did a good job. Um, brake controllers in the mail. Uh, right now I'm not running it with the electric brakes. Not an issue. Something that's light really doesn't need brakes. But I uh, eventually will have a brake controller and, uh, and I'll be running uh, electric brakes with this thing. So, and she's hiding. That's good. I don't like to have my family on camera, so. But as you can see, the windows are tinted and you can't even see inside, so. That's fantastic. Um, that's about it. Wonderful night spending it in the camp in. You guys want to hear the quality? Here you go, someone.
There you go. A little detail. I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but look at that detail. I spilled something and it drained right here and it just ran right out, which was awesome. I thought I, I thought I was going to have to take all my food out. And uh, the little details that they thought of, I think I mentioned it before, but I actually got to test it out. Um, stupid me. But I uh, see that's a little spill there. No big deal. It just runs right on out. Sweet. It doesn't go inside your compartments. Really nice attention to detail. Um, if you got one of these, I would totally recommend the SUV model, which is two inches higher than the uh, standard model. Because I'm s almost six feet tall, and I have, as you can see, just a few inches right here. Um, I don't know if you can see me on camera, but a few inches. Uh, so I'm not hitting my head, and it's absolutely perfect. But if it was two inches lower, I could see me hit my head. Then again, I'm up on jacks. So you can always jack it up. Um, my wheels aren't touching. And that way you can level it out. And the way you do that is you got <clears throat> two leveling jacks. And you got the jack up in front also. You take your uh, leveler and you just uh, level her out. You can adjust it in three directions. One, two, well two directions with three different jacks. So it's slightly leaning that way but not much as you can see so um, cool little unit I guess the other drawback would be the price you're paying a lot of money for these things but then again if you don't like it you can turn around and sell it for almost as much as you bought it for so that's the difference between buying a unit like this and buying one of those prefab uh, fiberglass type the minute you drive those off the lot they drop by 50 percent so it's you know just insure it <laughs> and uh, like I said I can turn around and sell it for as much as I bought it for because I bought this one used and that's about it y'all take it easy and I am going to do something on case knives when I get a chance had some really fantastic questions on case knives and uh, um, how do I know what knives will make me money investment purposes etc etc because a lot of individuals don't quite understand what's a good investment and uh, why I collect older knives versus the uh, newer knives and uh, I'll, I'll do a video on that and I think you guys will find that extremely informative and uh, even for people that just want to make money uh, it's a fantastic way to make some extra money so I'll give you guys some inside information on that so y'all take it easy hope you enjoyed the video well, guys, I tell you what, I'm in a swamp. Absolutely beautiful. There's crocodiles and turtles all around us. I have my daughter and my wife filming this in the canoe with me also. Absolutely beautiful. It's not quite hot enough, but I'm hoping we will see an alligator. If we do, I'll pop off some stills and I'll put them in the video. Um, wish I had my sunglasses. This is kind of an impromptu video and canoeing trip but I tell you what it's absolutely beautiful and there's my daughter she's having a great time what do you see up there Siri? see a fish you see a fish up there right there huh but uh, absolutely beautiful with the moss and there's some turtles over there oh yeah the turtles here are a nice size Good soup set. <laughs> I know I'm using a kayak uh, paddle, but I'm doing that so I'm not so I don't get myself too wet. Um, I'm just taking a cruise. So that's about it. Great trip. Great camping.